Hello everybody, Bearded Gentleman here. Uh, today I am going to be creating a, uh, a short tutorial series on how you can uh, create your own paint in iRacing start to finish, all the way from downloading your template, how you get started, using the iRacing car patterns that they give you, uh, all the way up through putting decals on your car, and then we'll finish it off by having some fun with spec maps and uploading to trading paints. So uh, we're gonna go through that process here start to finish, and I'm gonna show you guys just how easy this actually is. It does not take five to six hours of your time. You can be start to finish in 30 to 40 minutes with a car that will be very unique and set you apart from everybody else on the racetrack. All right, so let's get started. Uh, first things first, I do want to mention that this tutorial is going to be using Adobe Photoshop. I personally use Adobe Photoshop for creating my paints. Uh, I personally paint enough that I feel like I can justify the $10 a month that I spend on the Adobe subscription. So that way I always have the most up-to-date version of Photoshop. So if you are a GIMP user or if you're familiar with GIMP and you want to use that, which is a free program, it's very similar to Photoshop, I'm not familiar with GIMP, so I don't know uh, exactly how you would do this exact same process in GIMP. I believe it is fairly similar, uh, but I can't speak for exactly how it's gonna work in GIMP. So let's go ahead and start off here with our, we're in our main iRacing UI. Let's go ahead and pick my content and cars, and let's pick what car we want to paint. Today, I want to create a paint scheme for the late model stock car. This is, as of the filming of this video, this is a brand new card that just came out a couple of days ago. Now, if you want, uh, you can just go here within the UI. You've got your own simple, simple car here. Just click paint car. Obviously, you've got three different colors that you can choose from here. You've got a number of different patterns you can choose from. You can use their pre-selected sponsors. There are a few of these around uh, that you can use. And then you can, if you just want to use the SIM stamp numbers, which is how we're going to start off this tutorial, uh, just select which font you want your numbers to be. Do you want them to slant forwards or backwards? What color do you want them and what number do you want? And then, oh, look, so you can also create uh, your wheel colors. But the reason for this tutorial is I saw a post on the iRacing subreddit the other day where somebody was talking about how they'd done this process where they'd created a car here within the UI, but they needed to put it in trading paints because they're in a league and their league wants all their paints to be within trading paints. So how do we get this to trading paints? Let's show you that process here right now. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to need to download the template. This will pop up in a browser. I'll be able to see it off to the side of the screen here, but it's gonna be a download within the browser. Let me go ahead and bring that over right there. So this is a zip file. And you have to extract this file. Where do you download it to? I strongly recommend to make your life easier as you move forward with painting more cars, create folders for each car. Each time you create your, you get a new car and you're gonna paint it, create a folder just specifically for that car. And have one main folder uh, that has all your, all your paint stuff in it. Also create one for your base templates. So that's the folder that we're gonna use. You can't see, but there's a whole bunch of, you'll see it here in a second. I've already downloaded it once, so I'm just gonna hit replace file. There you go. Now do you see, I've got a bunch of templates here that I've downloaded. So find the one that we want to paint, which is the late model stock. Let's double click on that. That'll fire up Adobe Photoshop. Let's wait for that to load. All right, there we go. And let's go ahead and take our iRacing UI and let's shrink this down. We don't want to make this completely go away because we're going to use this. And for example, take a look through these templates. Find one of these templates that you want to use, one of these patterns. I want to use this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and save my car design there. And go back. And now here's our car. 
This is our 3D model viewer. We're gonna keep that up here on the side. Here's our base template. First thing I want you to do is I want you to go File, Save As. Go back to where all your folders are, Cars Late Model. Give it a unique name. That way, anytime we save this, or if you need to save it and step away to go get dinner or something like that, or you're done for the night, uh, you can go back to the one that you've already created, or you can also go back to your base template, this right here, and you can start fresh again. Keep them separated. You don't wanna lose your original base template. Let's go ahead and click the drop down arrow. There's a few things to look at here. Uh, the thing that we are most concerned about is our car patterns. If you click on that, these are gonna be all the same patterns that you saw there in the UI for painting there. Obviously the first one that comes up is the Dale Jr. Sundrop paint. Uh, that is, um, he's the one who's responsible for helping us get this car. So thanks Dale Jr. Uh, now let's find, let's find that pattern here within uh, the patterns here in Photoshop. So just click the eyeballs. Let's start making these drop away. And there it is. See how it kind of curves around the hood, swoops up the side, curves around the hood, swoops up the side. So that, that paint scheme there, this is what it looks like when it's laid out flat on the template. Now what we wanna do is we wanna hide all other visible layers. We want the only visible layer to be that pattern. Yeah, these are really obnoxious colors though. We don't want those obnoxious colors. We want our own colors. So how do you do that? And how do you make it so that you don't have any jagged edges where colors uh, come together? How do you create all that? It's really simple. So here in your car pattern, click the little tab next to the layers, it's called channels. You see RGB and then you've got a red, a green and a blue. See how these are all white and black, white and black, white and black. First thing we wanna do is this Hoosier right here, we don't want that. So just go ahead and grab your paintbrush, cover over that. That will cause a problem when you try to work with your spec maps later on in this series. Let's get rid of that here now. That way it's not in our way in the future. Go to our green. There it is. See, it's the same thing, except now we're on the opposite end of the spectrum. We're black and white. Now we need to cover it over with black, cover it over with black. Now on our RGB, it's gone. Perfect. So take a look at the order these are in, red, green, and blue. Go down here where, to where your base is, just the big blue square. Click your plus button three times. We're gonna add three new layers. One for each, red, green, and blue. So red, green, blue. Now go back here, go back to your channels. Let's start at the bottom, blue. Down here in the very bottom, you will see a little circle down here, dashed circle. Hold your mouse over, it'll say load channel as selection. That is exactly what we wanna do. Go to your blue. Let's grab our paint bucket tool. Let's just use black. Anywhere that you see blue here, just find one spot, click on it, and that will fill all of this selected area with that it'll basically fill that selection in. On Photoshop, Control D will deselect and get rid of those tracing ants. Now let's go back, let's repeat the process. Green, load channel is selection, layers, green, paint, fill. One more time, channels, red. Oop, let's deselect the green first, that have caused a problem. Go to your red, load a selection, layers, red, click. Control D. 
Now you can go ahead and compress down that car patterns folder. In fact, we can make it go away now. You don't have to delete it. You can just uh, uh, make it not visible. Now we do need to go ahead and turn a couple things back on here to keep working. Let's go ahead and turn our uh, mask layer back on. Now your color change logos, each car is a little different on how these work. In this particular car, the only color change logos are the two Hoosier logos over the top of the wheel wells. So even though they showed up in our car pattern, they also show up here. We got rid of them off of the car pattern and we're going to hide them here. So that way they will not appear anywhere on the car. Decal sets, this is unique to the late model. Uh, they came out with eight different combinations of headlights and taillights that you can put on this car. I personally like this eight set here. It's the Toyota Camry. I personally run Toyotas on all my stock cars. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. So now you've got your red, green, and blue. Now let's take it, now let's make it make a decision. What colors do we want our car? I am going to say, okay, so let's do, so you double click on that and you do color overlay. And I want I want I want that to be Let's go with a hot pink. I like I like the really bright neon like retro synth wave cyberpunk kind of uh, kind of vibes on my paint schemes. So that's kind of the the vibe I'm going with here. Now let's go grab like a bright, almost like a turquoise kind of blue. Go, and this here where it says red, that's your base. You can make that, make it yellow, you can make it whatever color you want. I personally, make it white. I personally want it to be black because I like matte black cars. I, I like that finish. We'll get to that in the spec map portion of this, but I want that to be black. Now let's go ahead and name these, that way we can keep track of them. This one, we, it is now pink. This one is now teal. This one is now black. Rename these as you go. That way you can keep track of these because we will be using these later in the spec map portion. So if you wanna see now what this looks like on your car, here's how you do that. Here's your plus button, your actions button. Now I have already done this once. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. So that way I can show you, this is how you create a hotkey for quickly updating uh, what the paint looks like in the UI without having to click through five, six, seven, or eight clicks, depending on how your uh, folder layout is set up. You can just do one hotkey and you'll be able to update it. So open that up. Let's go to hit plus. So it's, we're gonna create a new action. We're gonna call it main paint. And we're gonna do F2 and shift. Hit record. This is now going to start logging your buttons. Uh, logging your steps that you're selecting. So we are going to save a copy, Targa, go to your documents, iRacing, paint, find the folder for the car that you're painting. In my case, it's late model 2023. And if you're gonna be using the SIM stamp numbers, you just uh, save this as car underscore and your iRacing number. Hit enter, boom. Make sure the first thing you do here is you hit stop. So that way it doesn't keep counting steps uh, and saving them. Uh, so that way, there you go. There's what your car looks like with the SIM stamped numbers. Now, if you wanna make changes, say I'm like, okay, I don't want black, I want white. Shift F2. There you go, changes your car. Wanna change another color? Let's change, let's change the teal. Right, green, 
Shift F2. There's what it looks like. So that is how, if, if this is all you wanna do is you just wanna make your own colors, but now you want them in a format that you can put onto trading paints, which I'll show you that here right now. This is what you do. You don't have any stim, uh, you don't have any stickers, any sponsors. You just have the sim stamped numbers. So now what you'll do, let's go ahead and save it. We're gonna go ahead and save a copy, but instead of in that documents folder, remember back here, we created the folders for each car. We're gonna go cars late model. We're gonna go ahead and create a target here. But now instead of using that, uh, that particular format, now you can just create, call it something that, that you'll remember. So this will be white, paint, green, sim numbers. Hit OK, hit OK one more time. Now we have that file, and now that is the file that we'll use to upload to Trading Paints. So let's go ahead and grab Trading Paints here real quick. Trading Paints. Let's upload a paint. Select a paint file. All right, back, where was our car's late model? White, paint, green, sim numbers, hit open. This is gonna be a paint just for you. Let's go ahead and select our car. Late model stock, sim stamp numbers, upload to my paints. Oops. Oh, we gotta wait, you gotta wait for that to upload. So let that count up. There we go. Now there's your car that you just created in Trading Paints with sim stamp numbers. Now I realize that you can just create this car in the UI, but if you need it in Trading Paints, this is how you take a pattern from the UI, change the colors, get it into Trading Paints, you're good to go now. So what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my browser. And that's gonna complete this step here. Uh, this is gonna be the first part of how you just kind of get your, your simple start, get something from a template into Trading Paints. The next step, we're going to start adding in stickers, vinyls, uh, custom numbers, sponsors, things like that. So stick around for that, and uh, we'll see how we can take this paint scheme here and take it up to the next level. So stick around and uh, make sure you check out the next video.